Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublikon here, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival Roleplay with our child of Adam Ghoul, who is just admiring the beach. Which, it's kind of fun, where you see in, like, the Commonwealth, well, we had beaches and stuff, but they didn't necessarily make them as interesting as they did in Far Harbor. Especially having this kind of, like, beachfront with the birds flying by. I really like that. That was kind of a cool effect to see. Oh, I realize now that I'm just actually hanging out right by some seagulls. That would explain it. So, one thing to consider, we were talking about how we were going to go up and go in this direction to get the power tools, and I forgot about the Marine Recon Armor Suits shipments that was talked about from Dima. And I pulled and found that that was a miscellaneous tab of the data, which is why I missed it. I was expecting it to be its whole mission, but when you go to the miscellaneous, you find there's the recon. And then you go into the map, and you realize that we actually were walking along the recon locations. In fact, we were so close to one right by the hotel. So I'm a little bummed about this one. We're not going to go up and get this one, but I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to work it down this way, grab these ones because this should be pretty quick since it's just through the water. And then we'll cycle back up, drop our save and continue on to the Eagles Cove tannery to get the rest of the power tools. What is nice in this bit too, is since we're so close to the first one, I'm very excited to see what that initial shipment looks like. I don't know if it's going to be like our first piece, or later pieces, or how that's going to go, but it's, I mean, it's just so close that we've started in the perfect spot. Also, this looks like a little Viking boat. That's kind of awesome. Or a Sabbath, which is one of the smallest sailing ships that are like technically like people sell to sail. They te use them to teach little kids how to sail in like uh, some coastal areas and like, because basically you knock it over or crash it into something. It's kind of like the bumper boat of uh, the sailing world. Ooh, here's the cash. Chest piece and a wetsuit. Okay, we got it. <gasps> I see these. All right, so we're at 315 to 325 in weight. Holy crap. This is high protection. The marine wetsuit's pretty cool. The 555. Hold on, we're gonna... And the marine tactical helmet. Hold on, let's get on land and get a good look at some of these. Actually, I say that, but we can probably just, in the water, start heading straight to where we need to get. Do a little speed run. All right, so we found the next one. Another quick dive into the water. See if we can figure out how to locate this. It's uh, in the inside of the boat. <gasps> Get some air and go. Uh-oh, too much. Oh, I cannot see crap. All right, there we go. Now we can swim out. Oh, oh God. Can't really see. <sighs> Got to deal with breath. All right, so I, uh, I ditched a couple things down there. Uh, the harpoon, for example. I uh, decided that, although that's really cool, it's uh, definitely something that we're not really using. So let's get a good look at this now, shall we? So this is our current loadout. And this is what we look like. Whoa. <laughs> this is what we look like with the current set of armor that we have just picked up out of the water. So you can see we don't have everything on us. And I also added a wetsuit because I just thought that would be a, a fun addition. Here's the, uh, just the wetsuit version. Oh, that looks really cool. So the wetsuit you wear underneath your armor. And the thing is, I think I prefer the strength as well as the agility bonus here for the army fatigues. But, uh, man, it's pretty cool. Now, this is sweet because it has 50, 49, 10, right? But compared to the chest piece, this is 37, 25. It's not as good. That's true. But for whatever reason, we increase 10 strength when we wear it. I don't know why that is. It's because it's pocketed. Oh, that makes perfect sense. I'm clicking. It's making sense now. So comparatively, it's not that much stronger in ballistics damage. It is significantly stronger in energy, however. Now, the Assault Marine Armor Helmet, which does look very, very cool. God, look at that. Awesome. Compared to the Destroyer's Helmet, totally is a little bit better. But this one makes a lot more sense with the Intelligence Bonus because we get more experience from it. Now, we haven't tried this marine tactical helmet, which is actually just not as good. Oh, it's this thing that looks really cool. Oh, gotcha. The one that looks like an evil ski mask. So now that we're crazily overweight, I think what we should do is actually head back to the nucleus. It's a good shot to just kind of shoot over past the Children of Adam Shrine and stuff. It's a relatively safe direction. And we can save there, plus we can take some of these items, we can mess with them a little bit, store with them, and see if there any of them are actually useful. Because right now, we actually just have a normal leg. Let me explain. 
Our pocketed polished metal left leg is just a normal leg. There isn't anything special about it, really. So, potentially we'll want to use the Assault Marine Armor left leg. It's great. It's twice as heavy. But, you know, maybe we're able to upgrade it significantly more than that damage resistance 13. Plus, if we can put pocketed on some of these things, it might actually be worth keeping. So, in the process of finding uh, our way back to the nucleus, we actually ran landed on Haddock Cove. Which is the kind of place that I don't really want to hang out because there's a ton of Mirelurks everywhere. Hey, buddy. Just uh, keep doing what you're doing. This looks like it would be a settlement, which is pretty sick. Also, it has a save. That's actually... You know, that alone might be a reason to try to tear through this place. I mean, we've got a lot of ammunition on Well Dam. Press headshots. Press plus headshots on these guys, it's just immediately cuts into them. And he's, he's just out of here. He's like, I don't want anything to do with that. Come on back, bro. You don't, you don't want to hang out anymore? That was, that was just too mean? Too mean for you? Okay, well, I'll just go exploring around this place happily without you then. Husky Family Hollow Tape. Hello? Luke, is this thing on? Yeah, boss. We're rolling. All right, good. Now get back to work. I can take it from here. This here is Bray Husky, leader of the Husky family, rightful owner of the land previously known as Haddock Cove. He's here to take some money as well. We've torn enough scrap wood and metal from the nearby houses to build an outpost on the water. We built really this thing go big, big and tall enough. We'll be able to see pests coming from a good distance off. No one will be able to catch us without our pants down. Ray Husky, sign it off. Shit, Luke. How the hell do you turn this thing off? There's a million buttons on this stupid thing. Lewis, I'm just gonna unplug it. Okay, so this is probably a settlement of some kind. All right, well, we can't really carry anything. Uh, I just got underweight by shooting two rounds, so that worked pretty well. Quick drop save. You tired from lack of sleep? That's fine. No worries. Oh, wow, they do have quite a good selection of stuff. If we're able to find a... Ooh, ooh, more tapes. If we were able to find ourselves some more, uh, like an armor workbench, we might actually have enough items just scattered around here to uh, do all the changes that we need to the armor to see if it's worth there we go that's that was what i was worried about okay oh nope not in the water out of the water oh hey big guy hanging on a uh, just a toolbox of stuff okay all right let's go fight some of these mire lurks because i mean i would love to just hang around with some more legendary mire lurks they're just useful bros good ammunition good items all right, Mirelurk, Razor Claw in the water, just hanging out, going that way. What about the one that's just behind the door right here? Hey, I see you. Shell head. Oh, and he's now on the roof. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Oh, he's going to just uh, mutate soon enough. I guess you're just kind of glitched through the, the world. Is that it? I hope you stay right there. Oh, God damn it. You're making this very difficult, Strange. Stop it! <laughs> I know, you You ever notice that legendary enemies, when they mutate, they actually create a sound? Like, I, I've never noticed it before until recently. Are you dead up high or you dead down low? You're dead up high, it seems. Okay. Oh, you dead. You fell back. Reduces damage while blocking your switch by 15%. Uh, that's kind of cool. Um, we're now way overweight. I mean, I like it a lot. It's actually pretty strong, and probably we could up its health a bunch, but we don't do a lot of sprinting, you know? Like, it's great for when you're running from cover to cover, but we're not really going to do a lot of that. So I'm just going to leave it in the legendary glowing Mirelurk for the moment and just kind of leave him be. This is a cool spot, but I don't really want to waste too much time clearing it out. We, d we already have a save that we know exists there. We're not too scared of the Mirelurks. We have a place that we're trying to get back to as well. Like, we want to get back to the Nucleus. Oh, here's the shrine. Oh, for some reason I thought this was going to be... There's our frag mine! 
Oh, that's cool. I wonder if we have a bunch of frag mines just laying around everywhere. And that's why we just randomly get experience as we're playing. So they just, the frag mines just detonate at random intervals. You know, that means that the fog crawler who is scary is going to be over to our left. Ooh, child of Adam. Wait. Who? What? A ch I'm, why is a child of Adam over there? Also, I'm in danger from a trapper. Holy, whoa, whoa, are they shooting at me? No, they're shooting at a person behind me, aren't they? Yes, they are. Holy crap, and they're demolishing the guy. Hey guys, what are you doing out here? I've actually not even seen you leave where you were. Child of Adam Preacher? You will be purged. What a cool situation. I've not seen these guys out and about. I've just seen them in the nucleus or that one particular event. Another grim trapper. <laughs> this is pretty sick looking. Those guns do not seem very effective though. Hey guy, how are you doing up there? In the end, we are all Adam's children. That's a hilarious mustache. The glory must be spread to all. Hey. Excuse me, not brother. Alone, Here. The great Here. More stuff is attacking us? Whoa, another Grim Trapper. <laughs> Ow, God, dude. No, no, no. No, no, no. I am with them, but you don't have to be like that. Ooh, some sweet caliber. Ow! Oh, Ow, my head is in. Uh-oh. Okay, I guess we're going to use one of those. The bomb is us, the bomb is Adam. Jeez. Why am I missing every shot? There we go. Wow, look at how much agility we have now for AP. This is pretty sick. I mean, it makes sense because we've upped our agility so much from our levels, but... I'm just, it's a lot. I'm just impressed. Oh, it's our cult drops that we had here for, uh, when we were fighting all the mole rats. This is kind of fun. A little trip down memory lane. All right, so we're about to hit the nucleus, and now we can start doing some experimentations on the weapons, or not the weapons, but the, the armor. I mean, it'll be a good idea, too, for us to see what it looks like, because that was part of our mission was to pick up this armor, potentially to pick up the legendary version. However, just the armor itself would be really fun to try to find a way to make it work. So I'd be pretty excited to just experiment with it and see if we can give it pocketed, see if we can give it other variety Did of mods that? that will just really help. Hmm. Get our normal dose of glow. Oh, uh, yeah, baby. You're praying to the sink, huh? Well, I mean, or the skull in the sink. Either way, happy days. I'm going to just take a nap. Ooh, so yes, we can go in and alter things. Turns out the Zealots actually have a less quality one, and you need crazy high science and armor to do any changes to these. Uh, apparently, we can just flip between slightly higher energy resistance or slightly higher ballistics. It does have pocketed, and it drops the weight 10, which is pretty good. I like the idea of doing pocketed. We have a lot of stuff, so that could work. Potentially, we could actually wear this armor. So I just made this decision to put TikTok away. We've been using Whale Dam a lot more. It's been better. It's been more accurate. I think continuing down this revolver business for a sniper weapon is the right choice to do. Weapon. That's how I speak now. So currently we're at 285 weight to 305. Now we haven't sold some of the stuff we've picked up and we're carrying a lot of excess armor that we wouldn't actually be wearing if we had the opportunity to put some of these away. Also note, you can't wear glasses when you have the helmet on. All right, so the way we have it built right now is that we actually, everything's pocketed. So any change that we've done doesn't actually increase our carry capacity or decrease our carry capacity. So that works pretty well. It's got a cool look to it for sure. We're at 165, 164 for damage resistance and energy resistance. Also 40 rad resistance, which is something we've never really had to worry about anyway. We give up the bolstering metal right leg, which is at currently 13 damage resist or normal damage resistance plus extra four so it's actually 17 plus that extra 12 for the energy resistance this is at 23 so this will not change this will only stay at this point and for 15 pounds i don't know if that's necessarily is worth it so at least for the time being we're going to keep the bolstering alloyed metal right leg in case of the helmet 191910 
for 14 pounds compared to 13 13 5 with charisma and intelligence up i say it's worth keeping the helmet because that saves weight for other things that it would be heavy to wear on our head plus it allows glasses which increases charisma when we put on fashionable glasses and also allows increased perception because we can wear it now in the case of the chest piece 50 49 10 the increased charisma we don't really use because we change it to sequin dress, but the increased intelligence we do in fact use because it ups any form of experience we gain. Also weight wise, this is at 22 pounds. This is at 26, so it's really not that much heavier. The increase to 50 damage resistance is okay. I mean, that's only a 13 increase, but the extra 25 energy resistance is in fact pretty big. This might be worth keeping. Now here's the pocketed polished metal left leg, which is what we were wearing earlier. We haven't found anything special for our left leg. It's that's spawned the whole I wanted a mod to fix that thing. And you can see that it's seven pounds compared to 15, but it adds an extra 10 damage resistance or an extra, an extra, basically another 14, 15, 16, 15, 16 energy resistance. So there's a, there's a value in having the bigger left leg, but seven pounds is a big drop. On initial look, I feel like this might be the right armor set. It's really weird looking. I mean, we have the Marine Recon left leg, which is just better than what we were using prior. We have the armor, like, chest piece, which is just good energy resistance. And that extra, like, 13. Hold on. Looking at our damage resistance, we're at 153, 147 now for energy and damage. Which, So as you can see, we didn't drop a lot of ballistics damage. And it adds on about 11 more pounds of weight onto our character, plus loses that extra intelligence bonus, increasing our experience gain. So this is what we were before we had any of the armor and any like additional changes. 130, 107. So we've talked a lot about here in general like damage resistance to weight, you know, how useful it is to have increased damage resistance to what that sort of drop off is and the idea is that once you start getting the higher damage resistance levels it matters less we have seen that a lot of the enemies of far harbor are actually pretty strong so potentially having higher damage resistance will do a lot in keeping our characters alive with that consideration i'm going to be putting back some of our really powerful that that armor here i don't think it's necessarily the thing we want to be holding on to while we're walking around not until we have the full set and then we can kind of just be like rocking in the full set. But as a usefulness, Why? it doesn't well, yet well, stretch what I think we really, you know, value. Because for one, we don't have a high strength. So right. I don't know if it's really as useful got. as I can imagine it to be in the long run. We could also pick it up if we're in trouble, if we're struggling with something. So there is that value too. So after the success of our last bit of bottle cap mines, I figured it would make sense to take some opportunity to take what we have grab some oil grab some steel and just basically make a couple of these and just have them available for us because they have been so powerful you know it'd be pretty cool too if we were able to go through these and organize them based off of what was in it so you could like type in oil and then it would navigate it and i know that there are mods to do that it's um i have to start doing mods that allow me to have mods whilst playing survival mode because at the moment you can't do that and I understand, like, the idea that they don't want to make it unfair for players who Just basically are like, oh, I completed survival mode, pass. but they didn't actually do it because they used mods to get the thing to happen that way. But I don't know. It's a, it's an interesting choice. Well, this guy's also wearing a single leg of the armor, like what we might Something be doing. Oh, yeah. My favorite joke that I heard from you guys in the comments about this person was that she looked like she fell asleep while Jigglypuff was singing to her. Well said. That was hilarious. All right, so we've figured out how our character wants to be played, what they want them to look like. We have kind of understood a little bit more on what the armor is going to be like. I mean, I'm a little bummed that it isn't as good as it could have been, but that's okay. You know, sometimes, uh, you know, it's just our character wasn't necessarily built with that guy in mind, and we are getting the armor, which is good because that's one of the rules that we had to do. Also, this looks just damn epic. Now, we had uh, a save that we would stop off of over here, but since we're just going up this way, it's actually, let's just hit this uh, Eden Meadows Cinema, see what that's like, continue going straight, and that will kind of provide us our, our trip to get the power tools again. We can wrap, I'm less, like, urged to wrap back around to get the other pieces of the marine armor. We will. It's just now that I see that it's not like, ooh, the next thing is gonna be great. It's enough for me to be like, all right, I got what's happening. That's a sweet ship off in the corner on our right side that's sinking. 
that it, I have a better understanding of what its value is. And I think the legendary ones are pretty sick and the like, but especially in survival mode where it's, you know, weight ratio is really, really difficult. It's something that I, I don't want to be wasting too much if I can avoid it. Also, uh, yeah, TikTok is put away. I um, officially decided that the 44 uh, Magnum pistol is going to be the better option for us there. We're still low on ammunitions. Uh, I'm hoping that, I mean, specifically for the Mathorata, it's actually less than our uh, 44 rounds, which is crazy. But, you know, it's 44 rounds are for very limited shooting moments. So it does happen that way sometimes. And here, where are we headed? We're going up north now, right? Yeah, let's remove the marker and head off to our right, which is north, which is here are the cinemas. Is that, does that have something actually playing in there right now? Last stand at Fort McGee, Night of the Fishman's Revenge. Oh, I definitely feel like gulpers are Night of the Fishman's Revenge. That's for sure. Oh, this is, this is a rough spot where they, just the bridge col collapsed from the bombs or time or something. That's cool. I like that little effect where things are just broken down. Let's get a look at this place. I wonder if this is going to be... Is it on? Holy crap, it's actually playing! I wonder how much of this is you could like watch as like a film or if at one point it's just like force restarts. Alright, Twin Eden Meadows Drive-In Cinema. Last stand at Fort McGee. So what do you think we're going to be running into? Ghouls, trappers, ghouls. We'll be running into ghouls who apparently... Hold on, are they watching? Who seem enthralled with the movie. Well, that's pretty cool. I wonder how much of this film we can watch. You know, for one thing, drive-in theaters were really interesting for, like, the Fallout world where they talk about how, you know, the 60s have, haven't really changed since they've begun the, or, like, it was a no cultural progression. This kind of film, it, though, looks really lame. I mean, this intro looks really cool and very classic. Speaking of which, hold on, let's grab a grenade for when we're doing this. Yeah, they're just kind of replaying that now. All right, let's just, uh, you know, before we end up hurting these guys, hold on. I want to see how, like, do they get angry at us or something? Let's see if uh, there's any other, we have to kill them. Like, remember, that's, that's our character. We have to go after them. No, they're not inside the building, so we can actually just like go inside. I wonder if we can sell them tickets. Just be like, excuse me, uh, you can get popcorn on the left, you can get really whatever you want up in front. Ooh, they got music in the background too. Yeah, I know, Ghoul's outside, I see him. Fusion cells, I'll take that. Hello? Anything inside this direction? Just another up. We're hidden still. Uh-oh. Hold on, Porta Diner. Uh 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 Stupid monkey. Okay, we're gonna take out the monkey real quick. Still hidden. So I learned that apparently these are related to luck. So I'm gonna try putting on a lucky gear and see if we can get the Porta Diner to work. Goal. <laughs> we have our lucky combat right arm, which I'm gonna be using now for when we're in charisma checks because it will help with the charisma. You know, it felt like it grabbed it a little bit more. Dude, I'm digging this music in the background. It's just like rocking out, but it, it's very clear that they're just on repeat. You can't actually watch the film. Try to. Nah, it's pretty clear it's not gonna work. All right, going upstairs, uh, nothing particularly interesting quite yet. Ooh, steamer chunk with just a bunch of interesting, useful things up here. Pre-war money, compensated pistol, sweet pistol. No, thank you, though. Circuit breaker activate. Oh, what is this going to do? Does it turn on the other side? Oh, that'd be cool. We have two movies. It's a double feature. Oh, check it. This guy was up here just, uh, <gasps> all tech lunchbox. Sorry, knocked your hat off, dude. Baseball. Ooh, that was good for leather. Yeah, second circuit breaker. Let's, uh... I turned off the TV! Quick, turn it back on! <laughs> they all are like, uh, Turn the TV back on! Alright, here we go. First grenade. Second grenade. 
Holy crap, look at all of them go. Okay, uh, throw mine. Holy crap, look at all of them go. Jesus Christ, did you see that? Second mine. Is there any other way up here? Third mine in the doorway. There we go. That one uh, set off the mine but did not die. Okay. Is that everybody? I feel like there has to be a lot more. There's a lot of legless creatures down there, which is hilarious to see. Hello? Anybody else? Are there just like tons of broken creatures out here? I don't really see lots of broken creatures or anything. I feel like there should be so many more coming over right now. All right, well, let's uh, just start picking these guys off. We're just crawling around. That's funny. Oh, man. Poor guys. They're just... Actually, you know what? Here we go. Oh, that one's just running. Hey. Hey, come back. Dude. Hold on. I'll turn on the other side see what happens. Oh. Well, that one's definitely going to come over and attack me now. All right, it's just going up. Cool, got rid of them. There. Okay, dude, so it looks like we're actually suffering from a crash right now. So luckily, that was kind of at the time that uh, we'd be ending up anyway, so that's okay. But And we, were, we had a save recently, so we got to see the cool place. We'll go back to it. We'll mess with the circuit breakers and see if we can screw with the ghoul some more. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. It was a total joy to have you here. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button to my side. And of course, when the ground rises to meet your feet, the wind always be at your back and the sunshine warmly in your sexy, sexy face. Dude, see you later. Bye.